next young man is our valedictorian at this year's college graduation. Now that I've tried to embarrass him, let's bring him on. Mr. Sean Wilson. Fear is the false expectations appearing real. We face this and we try to find courage by often asking, what's the worst that can happen? Well, I'm here to share with you what has happened in my life from not facing this. Like all kids in elementary, I started life with a big dream. I was the only kid in my class who wanted to be a marine biologist. But then I watched that movie, Deep Blue Sea, and saw how Samuel Jackson died in that scene. <laughs> and so did my dream. My real dream, though, was to play football. And my coaches believed, because of my speed and my size, that I was built to be a running back. But for some reason, I didn't believe that I could hit harder than my teammates to play that position. And when those lights came on, it would all show as I fumbled, got caught in a hole, withholding my full power and capability. So being expelled from school was just the excuse I needed to quit. And there was always some girl who I really admired, who probably would have liked me, yet I felt the need to rehearse my words and dress cool just to speak to her. And even still, could I rarely get past hesitating and sweating, just being myself. The one time I was myself was so much special, it backfired on me. From then, I just avoided emotional relationships. Moments like these push me out of living like your everyday kid, leaving me searching for something to redeem myself from feeling alone and inadequate in my circle of life. But I never stopped dreaming. They just turned into bad ones. And I found this all in the streets, which led to my self-destruction at age 16 when I committed 12 counts of robbery, receiving 10 years, leaving my family and my community as my collateral damage. I got here and I recognized this is just like living in fear. I mean, I was still a social outcast. I was still restricted to what I could do. And mostly, I still felt irrelevant. So I created this reality, and I sold my youth for nothing. I tried to adapt to this prison culture as a coping mechanism of some sort. It didn't work. So I knew I had to give myself a chance. But how? How did I get to a point of taking a gun and robbing you. It takes a person with no sense of self-value not to see how low this is. And it was fear that had robbed me of mine and ultimately my future. Maturity helped me to realize this and I was motivated to enroll in college. I observed and studied my determination to do it, to break my old habits of thinking, to survive those short moments just before giving up to fight back for my place in life, gaining courage and liberty in the process. Until I was inspired by the infinite possibility of channeling that same motivation and applying that determination to facing my old fears and pursuing new dreams. I used to fear public speaking. And today I stand here with a 4.0 GPA and I'll be graduating next month. <laughs> I realize I have value now. I always have. From doing something that I value, that matters in our society. For the first time in my life, I did something that I believe was beyond my capability. You see, it is moments like this where a powerful transformation begins to take place that defines change. My mother would always apologize to me for not being at my games, and I tell her it's okay. I love my mother, and I understood why she was working. But I couldn't see that I wasn't okay to even have known how to say this. So I'll say that my call to action is for parents and role models to take interest and support our kids in pursuing their dreams and passions by encouraging them through their fear and self-doubts where their minds are like short little storms that pick at things and twist them really quick. Be there to balance them out and calm and clear those false thoughts that aren't real allowing them to see and reach their full potential. We are like their personal coaches in making them believe in their capabilities because encouragement from someone that you love and respect is moving. 
and it trumps fear every time. Give them the power of your voice to carry them through life and don't allow theirs to fade out into addiction, gang, and criminal activity. Because my mother is the reason why I'm on this stage today. Thank you all.